Anyone, please. Excuse me. Jaldi, do we have run out of I differ. I strongly differ from that. What is government? The minister? The bureaucrats? They know nothing. What we are talking about, EMPs and fly-by-wire. How do they make policies? We call them. General Saab, tell us what to do. We have a draft on your table. So we make all those. And we are, we are exceptionally bureaucratic in the military. Okay? So we'll come to that. But funda is, there is that MOD ghost. Is, is no face. Right? And we have at the end of it to curse MOD or say, my, my, my minister is so good, my secretary is outstanding. Okay, it has its own waves. But it is fundamentally, it is driven by the military. And from there, the policies emerge. If you have some tough policy, it is the military is to be blamed. But because you can't have, there is also limitation. But yeah, you all running industry. You can't have free for all money, you know. The, the budget has to be limited. You have to convince some financier to say, sorry, I can't, I can't give this money. Next one, please. Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Hello, am yeah. I audible? Yeah. So I am Pradeep. I am representing Logic Food Technologies. So it's a basically a young design house. We are providing prototypes in electronics industry. Wonderful. So just uh, two questions. Uh, it's not directed to you guys only. I believe to all of us. So I have been thinking of like uh, regarding this innovation. Uh, like China decided long time back that they wanted to invest in manufacturing and they wanted to emerge as a market a world leader in manufacturing. So I think they have successfully done it. We think, we talk of lot of things like uh, India is uh, full of design resources and blah, blah, blah. So maybe, I mean, maybe someone or some people can share what could be India's strength. Okay. Let me give this answer to this quickly. I've interacted very close with Chinese at a very, very important strategic uh, uh, levels. Now, I'll just let, let me let me first sorry. complete my question. So what could be India's strategy maybe four or five years down the line that we can at least, we, we talk a lot, but we can be sure of that we can be world leader or at least close to world leader in at least one area. Yeah. First question. The second question is, uh, I had seen that China, Chinese people, they had acquired lots of technologies, irrespective that the Chinese uh, environment is not conducive for lots of MNCs. They have been, I mean, saying lots of bad things about the Chinese are thief and they steal our technology and all. But the real fact remains same that they own a couple of technologies, whether it is in power generation or it's any other industry. While in Indian case, for the last 60 years, we have been talking of I, uh, good, good, I, I, good, global, good global alliances and good global uh, partnerships with l companies like GE, oh Alstom, God. and mean so many things. I'm but afraid uh, that there's a too long a question, but, but you, I, the, the point is well made. I want to just share with you one or two things. China yeah. made a jet engine with the total hours cleared for is 50 hours. That's it. Pachas ganta chalao, phenko. Right? Whereas our, our Kaveri engine, it has to work for 2000 hours, MTBU. Okay, our standards are set somewhere there. They say, you will fly this 50 hours, think phenko school. I've gone to uh, Sri Lanka, saw their machines, very close. Many of our people have flown it. I'm sorry, I would not go anywhere near it. That is, I'm telling you from my own brief experience. Well, okay? I think… Now, you yeah. people, please, my, I beg of you, I request you, don't underestimate ourselves in front of about the Chinese or anybody else. You're brilliant. It's, it's, not, a matter it's of not a matter of underestimating no, ourselves. No, 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 I'm saying… What I am asking is entirely different what you are saying. What I am saying that can we target as an India to be at least in something where we can emerge as a world leader. Forget about, I'm not saying it's manufacturing, design, R&D or anything. Like Chinese targeted manufacturing, can we just target, let's say we will be having a resource. We have, we have to ask the Prime Minister, otherwise we are all… Uh,
specializing in yoga so well so uh, we well, can i think i think then we should have conferences more on yoga rather than defense electronics sorry uh, sir, so we should have me, more sir. yeah uh, can i can i, I say, respond uh, to this one one moment the defense covers the entire length and breadth of technology i fully agree you know better than i know it is so wide if you take about in you know like as i said gallium uh, uh, gallium nitrate okay let's go and make gallium art uh, uh, this thing and then we will put investments the people are discussing that 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 will be done some day i hope or otherwise so there are a lot of vision statements but it covers entire breadth of technology you know well you also managing industries at the matter at the end of the day it's it's a matter of money skills available knowledge available and within a defined budget on time you shall produce it is it's not a luxury anymore to say i am an r&d guy it's not a luxury that means it's free for all r&d will have a target you will meet performance and specification otherwise you are out you are fired until we reach those level we are not going to get anywhere chinese do that they say it's not kafi hai bas excuse Sorry. me sir anyone sir, else sir uh, sir i'd like to say something here sir so i'm on the dais uh, this is about uh, some you know uh, we've been talking a lot of uh, things your question was there there are rays of sunshine uh, please don't forget our uh, strategic missile program there are so many technologies which are made right here in bangalore hyderabad across the country now who's done it we've done it that was the strategic vision of that time and we have achieved the spin off from the technology second thing now uh, this uh, government has said exactly what you have said you make a few people in charge so somebody will make submarine someone will make aircraft but the industry is still to get its act together because this can't be unilateral decisions because there is one order should go to one like the americans you know what's what you're saying there's no business now those people those big 5 6 7 8 guys will give their sub business to the msmes and smes the space in which you are sitting is there space enough for everybody I, so I, that's I, the I, point of defense clusters and everybody I, comes in i differ so, on, I so differ on this, this is the point of view there are rays of sunshine which are happening and many of the people who don't get business or don't respond to the rfps yes rfp l1 we don't have a concept of l1 t1 now this dpp has a concept of a vague kind of l1 t1 anyway, so we are moving in we, that direction we i differ on this the industry is to become a strategic partner other than tatas and couple of guys they don't they not big enough and here is a whole lot of them want to get on to it you are restricting it you limiting it i was in those all those dialogues with the government when we were talked atres committee and all that stuff and there are lot of other counterpoint to this if somebody is coming up with it it's not money if you have a capability and in israel there is no strategic partner four guys get together they go and make it now it's 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 a way of looking at it if you want everything is structured this typical in indian system i'm 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 sorry general i may differ on this but it is a it's it's a free for all society but you have to work within a discipline on deliverables thank you very much you've been kind mr shrinivasapuram krishna swami thank you very much for being with us and sharing this panel i request mr venkatesh kumaran the vice president iesa to come up on the dais and uh, give away this token of thanks and appreciation to Mr. Srinivas Puru Krishna Swami Thank you very much I request Mr. Srinivas Puru Krishna Swami to give away these uh, token of appreciation and thanks to the rest of the panelists uh mr brahma prakash chief quality assurance officer cqa thank you so much major general uh, uh, saurish bhattacharya
Director of Andhra Pradesh Aerospace Defence Electronics Park, Mr. Alok Sharma. Thanks to all of you on the dais. Thanks for making it really interesting and thought-provoking to uh, everybody present here. And. Uh,